Hi, this is Kalpak Dutto and I secured All India Rank 3 in Physical Science in ICAR AIEA PG 2023 and I'm here to share my experience with you. So first of all, I want to thank Dr. Ritela Satyanarayan for giving me this opportunity to speak of myself and I really feel honored for this. So for your information, I graduated from Uttabongo Krishi Vishwabhidyalaya. West Bengal and I started growing interest in soil science when I was probably in, in, in my second year and that's just how it went. So when we are talking about books, the first book that I read was a textbook of Soil Physics by A.K. Shaha and this is a very good book where you can get in-depth knowledge about the soil physics topics like uh, soil texture, soil structure, soil water and air and all that. Or you can always start off with the book of Soil Science, you know, uh, Fundamentals of Soil Science by IEEE 2012 edition, which I always kept handy with myself. And I think when you um, cover a chapter or a topic from IEEE first, you, you just get an overview or you get to know all the aspects or, you know, you conceptualize the basics from that, from that chapter or topic and then you can move on to the other books where you get to know the other bits of information or facts and it kind of saves time you know what i'm talking about so uh that's the way that that was the way for me like i always tended to um go through the IEEE's first and then i move on to the other books you know so i suggest you that you always keep uh keep on track with the IEEE's book like however you like it you know you can always start with the other books but always keep on track with the IEEE's and then it comes to this book uh introductory soil science by dk dash which is also a pretty good book and you get to cover these chapters which are really well written such as uh problematic soils and um, submerged soil and uh, radioactivity and you can also go through the other chapters like soil biology and soil chemistry and when it comes to soil chemistry I think that's the chapter where you really need to conceptualize the things and I think IEEE's is the book for that or you can go through this book called uh, Textbook of Soil Science by T.D. Vishash and S.K. Mukherjee and this book might not look too fascinating but I think this book is a gem because it has a ton of information in it so I think you really need to go thoroughly through this book so you better be wise that how you you know choose this book because you either start off with this or you keep it for the last and of course go through each and every line of this book all right so after this when it comes to pedology it's this book a textbook of pedology by S. Hegal or you can go through the pedology chapter of IEEE first you know they have pretty much everything common you know, in terms of uh, soil classification, you know, soil orders, epipedons, endopedons, you know, soils of India and all that. So you can follow both of the books, you know, you can uh, switch up the things or you can go side by side, whatever you like. All right. But there are certain topics like land capability classes, which you need to uh, cover from this book. And you do need to, you know, cover all the ten, first 10 chapters from this book, you know, so whichever way you like you start with this and then move on to IEEE's or you start with IEEE's and then move on to this so that's how it goes and then it comes to uh, these two books you know soil science treaties by uh, Dr. Itala Satyanarayan of course and uh, Glimpse of Soil Science by Dr. Itala Satyanarayan and um, these two books are really you know on point and brief and well described I think it always helps you to you know whenever you uh, you know whenever you feel like you need to recall to a certain topic or concept or a fact you just you know get on to these books I mean they're really good and they are also really helpful in your last minute preparation I mean because uh, they're really brief and on point it just always helps you to you know cover the things really fast so uh, these books are really important and uh, Glimpse of Soil Science also has a lot of MCQs. You can solve MCQs from this book too. And when it comes to MCQs, I think there are several books such as um, uh, Objective uh, Soil Science or you know Soil Science at a Glance. But I think that you can um, grab on to any of the books that you can get your hands on at your library, which has uh, MCQs from Soil Science in them. And 
just solve MCQs from them and of course um, solve previous year questions or you can you know uh, do the mock tests of course so the model is to you know keep on practicing that's the thing and we all know that there are many um, telegram channels which conduct daily quizzes so you can solve questions from there too and besides this uh, there is uh, remote sensing and GIS I think you should follow the latest edition of IEEE's for those topics you know or you might find you know um, uh, study materials from telegram on those topics too and then it comes to the other topics like cell biology, biomolecule, uh, biomolecules, you know, uh, environmental science, basic chemistry and all that. And for those, you should go back to the 11th and 12th standard books from NCRT. Or if you're from Bengali medium, you can also follow the Chaya Prakashani books. I mean, they're more than enough to revise these uh, basic concepts. And um, when it comes to uh, uh, basic agriculture, general agriculture i think uh nimraj sunda is more than enough and for agrometeorology uh agronomy facts for competitions by rs mina is pretty good so that's it i think all right just keep on practicing um stay consistent you know uh feel confident and just relax and trust this process that's the thing all right so best of luck to the uh, next year aspirants. That's it from my end. Thank you so much.